Welcome back to another PSP video. Today we're taking a look at the Game Boy Advance emulator for the PSP. Let's see how well it runs and what it has to offer. First, you'll need to connect your PSP to your PC and then open the games folder. This is where you'll be placing the emulator and all necessary links will be in the comments. Now we need to download GPSP the emulator. Click on the zip file and choose the version that matches your PSP model, slim or fat. This, since I have a PSP 3000, I'll be downloading the slim version. Once that's done, the next step is to download the BIOS, which is required to run on the emulator. Now go ahead and download that as well. If you're also interested, I also left a link where you can download cheats. This should be compatible with most games on GBA. Once you're done downloading all this stuff, go ahead and drag and drop your GP folder into the games folder. This folder is going to be your main emulator folder. Then go ahead and drag and drop all the rest, which is the BIOS and the cheats. The next thing you're going to need to do is go ahead and extract the cheats folder. You don't need to do this for the BIOS. Once you're done with that, go ahead and Put the BIOS folder in the GP folder. Now for the cheats, go ahead and drag and drop that in. Go ahead and drag and drop that into the GBA folder and you should find CHT for cheats. Once that's in there, you should be good to go. Lastly, go ahead and put all your games into the ROM folder. Once you're done with that, you guys are good to go. Go ahead and safely eject your PSP from your PC. When you launch the emulator, you can see the time and battery percentage at the top, and it will automatically take you to your ROMs folder displaying all your available games. To use the cheats, open the cheats manager, load the cheats list, and select the game you want to play. You can turn cheats on and off as you play. If there are multiple pages, just scroll through them using left or right. Once you start playing, you can press square to show the frame rate and triangle to show the main menu. From there, you can save and load games, switch to other games, change video settings, or even overclock your PSP. And that's it. That's how you guys can emulate GBA games on PSP. If you guys liked or enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I would help. See you guys in the next one. Later.